hey guys, this uh, postal plebiscite idea is a crock of shit. We all know that. Um, who knows if it's going to go ahead? But this is just a reminder that 70% of Australia loves LGBTIQ people and their families. And um, it's the anti-equality people who are the, in the minority. Dear anti-equality person, it is time to pop that spot between your eyes that nobody could bear to tell you about, but you must have seen us looking at. While you insist on staying behind, we're going ahead without you. It no longer matters you whip up in a lather mad hat to chatter about the pollution of poofs, the disgrace of dykes, and the brazen gall of whatever it is they're calling themselves these days. Because we've gone and gone ahead without you. And when I say we, I don't just mean me, or the left, the right, the religious, seditious, brown, black, white. I mean all of us. Australia. We don't need a plebiscite to ask the people if it's right for me to spend my wedding night with a woman I've already held steady and loved under metaphorical confetti for more than half my adult life, who is not only my wife in life, but the actual legal other mother of two terrific kids who, by the way, are not surviving, they are thriving. So instead of allowing your fanciful part on history's onward train to fart up and down like a flailing balloon, it's time to land squarely in the truth. We're moving to love without you. The ball's not in Margaret Court. Though I promise when your head and heart meet, I will personally greet you and help you to your seat on history's ever-advancing carriage, where you will see on that sea of seats the bums of so many grandparents, siblings, friends, dads and mums, drumming on drums for LGBTIQ daughters and sons, and those who chose to change their mind, like our own chief lawmaker, George Brandis, it is not outlandish to hope one day you might be seeing that each exquisite human being is worthy of giving the gift of love. If God is there, she is everywhere. But we do not have time to pause on love in 2017 when the White House is churning out hate like an infernal machine. And we are witnessing the obscene demeaning of women, layers on layers of loathing, a wolf in presidential clothing, the outlawing of Islamic friends in sinister white treaty, tweeting out illogical hate on the horizon like graffiti and nonsense like... Kafifi. With nobody to rein his sins in, we must trump fear and hate and let love in. So we've gone ahead without you, so that Australia can stay standing tall. We have to go ahead without you, for us to stay standing at all.